I am doing this again. And I'm picking up from where I left off. My last Bible reading post, it was Genesis chapter 2. And so I am about to read Genesis chapter 3. I am so excited about this chapter. As a matter of fact, I'm excited about the whole book of Genesis and more so the entire Bible, the Word of God. Because every time I read it, regardless if it's a, if it's a verse or a sentence or an entire chapter or a book, there's so much revelations that the Holy Spirit brings forth that stimulates my life and motivates me to want to be in obedience to God the Father. So, I'm in pursuit of His righteousness because that's where I want to be found, in His righteousness. How about that? But it's going to take step by step, action by action, work by work, obedience by obedience, meditation, prayer, and communication with God, and also to reading His Word and following his precepts which he has laid out in his word for us to follow and be in obedience. Yes, it's spiritual food. The word of God is our spiritual food. And as we eat it, meditate on it, we dwell on it, and we obey it, we act on it, our spirits develop and it grows in God. It's just that simple. The Holy Spirit was given to help us to do that. So, with that being said, I am about to read chapter 3. If you do have a Bible and you haven't read your Bible as yet, and you would like to read this chapter with me, you are welcome. If you don't have a Bible, and you want to hear the Word of God being read, you can listen in. You're welcome to listen in. Also, if you read before and you would like to read again, you can join me. You're welcome to join me. But I am going to read because it feeds my spirit and I have got to eat. So, let's go. Genesis chapter 3. Enough talking. I didn't come out here to do this. I come out here to read the word of God. So I'm going to get to it. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yeah, had God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to, make, to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her. And he did eat, and the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, 
and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man says, The woman whom thou givest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also, and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou returned unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shall thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skin and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and a flaming sword which turned, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. There ends the reading of chapter 3 of the King James Version. May the Lord bless his word as we continue to meditate on his word and may he reveal unto us or enlighten us what he wants us to know from his word. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again in chapter 4.